Good evening, everyone, and welcome back. A little bit of a different stream this evening. We've done a little bit of art before, but we need to work some more on these emotes. <laughs> what do I speak, Ben? What do I speak? For any of you who are joining us for the first time this evening, hello, my name is Aetherplasm. I will be your host for tonight. The plan for this evening is mainly to work on some emotes because we are very, very close uh, to becoming a Twitch affiliate, and that's incredibly exciting. But that means there's opportunity for even more creativity. And I have needed an excuse to be creative for a very, very long time. I feel like I've had writer's block in a way for, for being creative. And I always used to be the one, you know, using my imagination, getting out there, doing different things, doing different crafts. And I haven't really had that, I don't know, that drive recently. So I'm really excited by the fact that, you know, participating in this Twitch channel and everything has, has given me that, that life back, that inspiration back. So I'm going to take you on that journey with me this evening. Is it not? It shouldn't be there. Twitch has been weird lately. It's not supposed to say giveaway. The whole stream title is supposed to be changed. Let me let me look at it. Let me look at it, Ben. Thanks for checking on that for me. I don't know why it's being weird. Let me go here. It didn't change it. I don't understand. It's very, very frustrating. Let's figure it out though. But chaos reigns. So sometimes it be like it do. Let me edit the stream info here and see if I need to do it directly on Twitch because OBS is being weird for me. I don't know if OBS is being weird for anybody else out there recently, but. Let's see. got all of the other things except for the name i don't know why it was a very manic day it was a very manic monday if i do say so myself i don't know if there's a full moon or not or what's going on but it, it definitely uh had its ups and downs that's for sure just some weird patient interactions uh some good patient interactions and then some bad patient interactions and just kind of felt like it was all over the place Playing a little bit of catch up, had some issues with some coworkers, not directly with me, but just people not, people not doing their job the way they're supposed to, you know. It happens though, it happens in every place. But that's why we're gonna chill out. We're gonna do a little bit of some, some art on this manic Monday. Let me switch back over to this. You can actually see what I'm working on. At least that's working. All right. If you hadn't seen what we were working on before, uh, if I can get these bits of puppy slobber off the screen, uh, Puppy Plasm enjoys licking iPads. This we found out. But we've been working on uh, an emote for a plasmid. Now, I'm still on the fence of whether or not I'm going to be calling you know, followers and eventually subscribers of my channel plasmids. I might call them Chaos Banana Knights. Who knows? We'll get, maybe we'll get a poll going. Um, and we will see just exactly what, what the viewers think, you know, I'm, I'm all about getting some viewer input here, but I, I was going to say, I'm going to, I'm at least going to be drawing for, I don't know, the next hour or so. And depending upon how things go, maybe blowing stuff up with some snappy death robots. Mrs. Ben was reading my text while we were bored and mentioned that I have inadvertently changed the subject every time you asked how I was doing. So I'll work on that. I mean... I'm not going to be the one to push the subject at the same time. If you want to chat about it, you want to chat about it. It's not, that is not up to me. I'm around. So one of the fun things that I get to do here is I am not an expert at Procreate yet. I don't know how to do quite all the things that I want. Like I, if anybody has any tips on how to do this thing, I'm trying to get this up here, this layer, this shade <clears throat> to kind of be the background layer in this shape specifically. So let me, maybe I'll make everything else invisible in the meantime. 
Okay. And then maybe uh, if I'm on the correct layer, I am. And then I go to select. I'm gonna select everything except the inside. And then invert it. Wait, I didn't, let's see, clear that. Make it a little smaller here. Select all those rings with it. And then invert, there we go. From here though, what do I need to do in order to get it to do the thing? It's not that, hmm. I guess I just do this and then invert, make that easy. Boom, there, okay. And if I go here, you see that? It selects the inside. I don't want the inside selected, I want the opposite selected. So I need to, must, I must have to go the other way. There we go, okay, that's fine. From there now, I need to find a way to make this layer here. So clipping mask. to here, and then can I do this? No, it didn't do it. Why? I followed the tutorial before. And it's just being wonky on me now. Hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna look it up on my phone, honestly. That way you guys don't have to listen to it. Because it was kind of like I was watching this tutorial before, and um, the guy was like, okay, do this, do this, step by step, it was perfect, and it's like, and now draw the rest of the owl. <laughs> and I'm saying, like, oh, that's, that's real helpful. That's real helpful. How to add a gradient to a shape in Procreate. Maybe they'll give me step by step here. I don't want to watch a video. Yes, okay, so that, looking up a little tutorial here. Hope you guys like the music. If it's too quiet or too loud, let me know. So you use that as like a clipping and then this as maybe I said this as a mask and then I merge down. No, not what I wanted. What if I get rid of this and merge down? Still not. Hmm. Can't drag and drop that. Let's see this. Interesting now that I can't see. Anything above it though. Hmm. What am I doing wrong? So let's delete that. And then we can add a layer. Bring it up here. This should not be a clipping mask though. Oh, okay. So we're getting somewhere. So that's over top, but then So 
that's a clipping mask. What if I make that a mask in general? No. Nothing changes. Get rid of that. Hmm. At least I have it selected the way that I need it to now. Forgive me, I am a little bit new to Procreate. I'm not new to drawing, but Procreate is a little bit weird sometimes, isn't it? So then do I add this in and then add a layer mask, I guess? Let's try that. So. Not that. That down there. And then what happens if I go here? back here I don't know why that <laughs> I don't know why that part's showing oh great cool maybe that'll just be behind the image so I don't have to worry about how to figure that out where it's coming from because now Which layer is that on? Uh, let's do this. Cool. <laughs> it's not up in this layer. Wait, let's see where it goes away at. Doesn't go away there. So what happens when you get a few too many layers going. Hi, happy man, Riley. I'm good, how are you? I hope you're enjoying a little bit of art this evening. I do apologize that, um, some things I'm still learning in Procreate, but overall, the design aspect is going to be awesome when it's done. Do, 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 do. But at least I'm not the amazing Technicolor Dream Streamer right now. I figured out my white balance on my, on my webcam, you know. That's a thing. Let's go ahead and bring this up here. Turn that on. And then we can go ahead and bring this up there. Turn that on. And then we'll do this up here. Turn that on. Oh, it's trying to make all these clipping masks. I don't want these to be clipping masks. There we go. Come on. There we go. We did it, yay! That's more like what I was hoping for, a nice little color fun gradient of plasma around this guy. <laughs> is that why you're a happy man, happy man Riley, is because you're always happy or did something in particular make you happy today? Hmm. Let's see, where are we gonna go next with this? Just trying to figure out how to do a nice 
hand here. Let me pull up a reference image. What I want to be doing here. Let's go with this one. Okay, so back to here. Let's pick the same color as this. We'll see if we want to go. That's awesome. That does sound like a good day. Happy Man Riley. Who is your favorite animation historian? Let's kind of go. Oops. Let's make a new layer so we don't mess stuff up. How about that? Delete that one. And we'll delete that one. This layer is going to go up here. Maybe it should come. This feels like it's supposed to kind of be like his shoulder in a way. Why does it keep doing that? First of all, that should not be a clipping mask. Can I undo this now or is it going to go away? Oh, I knew it would run, ruin my dreams. Okay. So we're good, right? There. Okay. Now we're fine. Everything's fine. Nothing is ruined. Tommy Jose Stotts. He's actually why I became one of the first ones. Oh, nice. Are you an artist yourself? Or uh, an animation historian, I guess I should say, yourself? Reference image. You know, I should pull up the reference image on here so I don't have to keep opening my phone and looking down a bunch because I'm sure people don't like looking at my my surgical cap all the time. Just part of the time, you know. Pull up a reference image here. And then we'll just go and put this out here. We're gonna put that there. Oops, that's not what I wanted over there. Boom. Perfect. And now this will go back up, but that'll go over here. Okay. Very, very cool. Are you are you streaming on Twitch or you just like to hang out on Twitch? Uh, happy Man Riley. And do you prefer I just call you Happy? Or do you prefer Man or just Riley? Up to you. So let's see. Oh, that's probably going to be way too big. I'm going to get the right color, huh? There we go. Can I do this up this way? I think it needs to go higher. Maybe the arc needs to go higher. Cause this is gonna be this is gonna be a little salute here that we got going on. Cause he's gonna salute all the new members of the channel eventually. That was a terrible arc. Drawing with Apple Pencil is very is a very strange feeling. Because I'm so used to just like paper and pencil or like oils and stuff. Call me Nacho. It's my nickname. All right, Nacho. That will be your nickname. That was my nickname when I was in uh, Spanish class in high school. Was Nacho because my name was uh, Ignacio. My Spanish name, because they made us pick Spanish names. Not having a tactile feel in here is real weird. Can I just duplicate this, maybe? 
That's the only thing on here, right? Okay. What if I just select that? And then... Hmm. Nope. Undo. There we go. Uh, and then let's say... Copy. And then paste. Then can I move? I can move it. Okay. And let's see if we can get. Therefore, we'll be able to get the same angle at least. Where do I want this? Maybe that's part of the issue. Is I feel like it's not in the right spot. Maybe it needs to be more like here-ish. Coming around. Coming around. Again, a lot weirder than just freehand drawing, but uh, you know it's a fun challenge at the same time. Nacho Libre, are you a Mexican luchador? Then is that is that the secret, Nacho? Yeah, I think I like that better right there. Okay, so let's go back to here. Let's go erase some of this stuff down here. I said erase. I'm on the right layer, right? Oh, I made a new, I made a whole new layer. Odd. Still won't let me erase. Cool. There we go. Boop, boop. There we go. And I mean, in reality, I know that most of the stuff is gonna be too small to really be seen. Uh, in, in emote form, but it's I know it's gonna be there and that's gonna be the problem, you know Make that a little smaller there just gonna kind of try to sketch out a, a Rudimentary hand here. So it's gonna kind of come up This way Need like One finger here Another finger here. And then maybe like kind of another one down here. I'm gonna make this look nicer in a minute, of course. It needs a thumb. Of th and the thumb's gonna be kind of. Thumb's kind of gonna be down here ish. Now let's go in and erase some stuff and make it look a little nicer. Oh, it's way too big an eraser. Do, do. So there's one finger. Do, 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 do. On Procreate, I find myself erasing more than like just straight drawing. Cause I find like, it's just, it's a little interesting to get my my mind used to the way that it works, the way, or the way, the feel of the pencil, the feel of the Apple Pencil on it. Tommy says, notice me when I posted on Facebook that my new animated series is officially in the works. I think he liked it because it's a reboot of old comedy cartoon series. Oh, very nice. What uh, what cartoon series was it that it's a reboot of? This is like two. Let's see. Let's think about the thumb here. Let's do that first. The thumb's going to kind of come down here. Let's make that a little smaller. Erase that. He's gonna kind of come more down here. And the thumb's gonna kind of come this way, right? Hands are hard. They were never something I was particularly good at. Right now it just kind of looks like a blobby thing. We're gonna make it better though. We're gonna kind of add, I think, like an opening here, maybe. And 
this is real rough, but you gotta start somewhere, you know, you gotta get the, the draft in before you can get everything else in. So this kind of comes down here. We're gonna make the pinky sort of that area. that thumb. It's called Tom and Jerry. It was made before the mouse and the cat, but then the mouse and cat bought the rights to the names and the original Tom and Jerry rebanded as Dick and Larry. Hmm. It's about two dudes who hang out and go on musical adventures. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta real quick. Okay, sounds good. I'm just going to be working out on how to draw a darn hand here, because apparently they're just as bad as they used to be. I'm going to use this as a reference image. Let's start from scratch here. Part of the problem is I was using a bad reference image. Yep, that's the thing I'm going to go with. That's, the, that's my answer, and I'm sticking to it. It's going to go out a little bit here. Make a little curve for a thumb. Thumb's gonna come down here. Let's see, I'm trying to think if it's your... Yeah, so thumb would be up. And it's showing the back of the hand. This is showing the front of the hand. So that's kind of the... This is actually supposed to be the pinky, I guess. So let's go up here a little bit more straight, maybe. Curve. And then that's going to come down here. Let's make the middle finger here. Everybody's favorite finger in sign language. So if anybody asks you if you know any sign language, you technically know one sign at least. I think I'm making the fingers too small. That's part of the issue. We'll see how this sketch goes. We'll see how this one goes. It's going to kind of start down here, right? Oh yeah, those fingers are way too small. I'm thinking about the line of a hand, like looking at my hand here. So this goes, this is going way too far out to the side. So let's go here. Just a little bit. And then see, he's kind of doing a salute like this instead of a salute like this. But I guess it depends on which salute you want to go with. It'll be fine like this. I'm not going to nitpick it too much. Got to figure out exactly how wide we want the fingers here. Good there. Better. And then let's go down and try to get the thumb sorted before we get the pointer finger, because the thumb's going to kind of be in front of the pointer finger here. Actually, we can do the pointer finger. Nope, don't like that arc. All right. So in reality, Pointer finger is going to come down here, but the way that the hand works, we kind of need this sort of motion thingy for the thumb. And then it kind of comes up this way. Let's kind of go more like out here, shall we? Like this. And then around. 
and then kind of down in the little bulb this way ish, right? Can I go at an angle here? Should fix that pinky. It's the only one that's out. That's weird. We'll get there. Just kind of curve in a little bit with a thumb. Yeah, that's not a quadrilateral. That's supposed to be an arc. Even procreates like WTF, man. What are you doing? Okay. From there. Draw that there. That shape arc. Make this look not atrocious. It's better. Let's erase some stuff here. We're getting there. We gotta erase this and redo that pinky. It's gonna drive me insane otherwise. And I'm feeling like, now that I look at it, I like the cleanness of the lines of the other fingers going this way. I'm kinda gonna do, it, gonna do this instead. And then edit it, just kinda move it over this way. There we go. That's fine. I just appreciate you stopping by, Nacho. Hope you have a good time. Hope you have a nice, chill rest of your day here. So we're just all about, we're trying to do a chill Monday stream. It's not something that we're usually always about, but you know what? Sometimes chaos reigns. Sometimes Mondays are a little chaotic and we gotta do something a little bit more fun. A little bit more relaxing. Let's even erase this. I bet we can make this look better here. So this comes down here. Edit the shape, move it over a little bit. No, move the whole thing. Not just that one part. There we go. And then we can do this. There, I'm liking that a lot better. Now I just need to make the lines a tiny bit more even. So let's get, let's get close here. We're going in real close. Trying not to mess things up at the same time here. Get that down here, clean up these. Clean up this. All the little things that probably don't matter, but you know, as an artist, you notice them. Someone else would be like, hey there, Plasm, your emotes suck. I can tell with the 12 pixels that they are that you didn't smooth out every single tiny little bit of all of it. I'll be like, well, joke's on you, I don't care. <laughs> As I cry deeply. I wish something that I could figure out is like if it could tell me what size my uh, lines were. That'd be something cool. If Procreate could like tell me like what brush size this is right here. You guys can't see that. But like, I'm trying to match my line size. Edit shape, let's move that over a little bit. Okay, that's good, but everything else now is off. I wonder if I can blend it into that. So let's do this. Kind of just make it erase just a little bit. Let's turn it a bit. That's the thing with like vector art too. It's, it's kind of tricky, like vector style art at least. It's tricky because you it needs to look real clean, otherwise it's noticeable, right? It's noticeable where you messed up. Switch over to that, that can be smaller now. Make that better there. Oop, I like the first part better. 
Nope. But I'm a very detail-oriented individual, so it kind of works out. At least when it comes to art, I'm detail-oriented. <laughs> I like to think that a fair amount of things in my life I'm detail-oriented with. Fish tanks, that's one of the things I'm detail-oriented with. Make that even smaller. There we go. I like it! Now, I just need to fill it in a little bit. So that means that this part needs to be connected at the bottom. So let's turn off a couple of these so that I can see what I'm doing. Turn off this one there. Oops. Make it a little bit bigger again. Okay, so that way when we fill it in, it's not gonna be an issue. Um, let's go ahead and fill it in with something a little bit lighter. No! What did I miss? Where is the issue here? Oh, okay. Let's do this. Can I merge down there? Now is it going to be okay? There we go. But I want it to be more uh, opaque than that. So I think... What do I need to do here? Let's go to layer... Do, 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 do. Hmm. Let me go to effects, maybe. Color balance, gradient, map, Gaussian blur, motion blur, curves, color balance, hue and saturation. Oh, sorry about the loud noise. I gotta look this up. I'm sure there's a quick thing to do, but again, I'm kind of learning Procreate as I go here. Um, how to decrease opacity in Procreate. Modify tab this with the screen and click the magic wand tool. Click opacity. Why I don't see opacity in here. Am I not on the magic wand tool? Do this first though let's try to just do so not the whole thing so let's take away this no clear freehand add uh, can i do this whole thing is it gonna be no it's not gonna do that hmm this is probably a lot easier than i'm making it nope Let me see, let me see. Layers of the color stand. Can you give me a picture? Okay. Oh, well that's, how was I gonna know that that was a thing?
I have to double tap the layer with two fingers in order to get it to, to go opaque. I don't know how I was supposed to know that that was a thing. Okay. Now, this again. There, not bad. Oops, take away that. And we're good. I wonder if I can adjust the overall, I should be able to adjust the overall opacity of this, right? I mean, I guess if there's nothing behind it though, it's not gonna look more or less opaque, is it? Thank you so much, Cattail25. This is going to be one of the custom emojis when I officially make uh, affiliate here and hopefully not too long. I have the 50 followers. We did the 50 follower celebration stream yesterday where we gave away uh, a miniature that I had painted, um, which I think is actually it was pretty darn cool. But I'm debating between calling followers and subscribers plasmids and or... Um, Chaos Banana Knights. Now, if you weren't here yesterday, Cattails29, let me see if I can pull up a picture of what was given away. I'll see if it'll let me actually pull it up here. Let me do this. This is what was given away yesterday. This is a hand-painted miniature by me, and it is a Chaos Banana Knight. I know, but it's kind of fun, right? I'm pretty chaos. I like to incorporate chaos into this channel anywhere I can. But you know, if you're gonna have a following, you know, you want them to be warriors of chaos, right? People that embrace chaos instead of getting run over by it. You don't fight against chaos, you fight for chaos. Otherwise, you're just gonna get, you know, kicked to the curb. But that was that it's the uh, the banana night. The chaos banana night. Thank you so much. Um, let me and then I made one emoji from it already. Let me see if I can get that pulled up. This is going to be what people are going to spam in chat. Um, oh, that's way too small. Uh, well, we can see what it looks like. Oh, wait. Let me see if I have a bigger version of it available somewhere here. Do, 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 do. Thank you so much for the chaos, the, the compliments of the chaos banana night. It, it was a pleasure. I, I do love painting miniatures, and I don't get the opportunity that many times these days to do that miniature painting. I didn't get the inspiration to do it, I should say. Where is my... I swear there's a bigger version. Maybe it's in, maybe I emailed it to myself. I put that box in a bigger box and mailed it to myself. And when it got here, I smashed it with a hammer. Um, do, 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 do. Also, if you didn't get a chance to check out the stream from yesterday, uh, Cattails29. Also, I have no idea who it is. This is Aether Plasma that you're speaking to right now. Um, Go uh, go and check it because it was a good time. I got I shared my my family's super secret uh, delectable turkey sandwich recipe, and you know I don't share my family's recipes very often. So let me see if I can get this pulled up now. Is it just gonna be dumb? It's gonna be grumpy, isn't it? It never likes it when I do this, when I try to just put in something simple. You know what? We'll close it entirely. And then we will... Open that again. Nope. 
Nope. Nope. Maybe if I switch away from it, go back to this, because I know that's going to be fine. And then I need to go to... There we go. The Chaos Banana. This will be something that people are going to be free to spam in chat when something chaotic or bananas happens on the channel. Seems appropriate, right? Your final OT theory, theory paper. That has got to be an amazing feeling. I'm going to say, I remember my OT theory class very fondly. But by fondly, I mean if I had to be any place in the world at the end of the world, I would want to be in that class because it felt like it lasted an eternity. <laughs> But yes, the Chaos Banana. For now though, let's get back to the art. Well, I mean, that is art. That's something I already drew. That's a finished emoji. That's an emoji that's ready to go. So let's get back to here. I think this emoji is just about ready to go. I like I like the salute. Uh, it's a little, a little too opaque. Let me see if I can just bump it up a little bit here so it's just a little bit more visible because I'm looking at it on how it comes on screen too. I just want to make sure that it's, it is a little bit visible but then also slightly opaque so that way you can tell it's supposed to be transparent. Because it's plasma. He's a plasmid. He's a little he's a little thing made of plasma. Okay. There. I think I like that. Easy enough. Saluting anybody who comes by the channel. I love the banana and the fact that I have two weeks left. Of yes, you should love that. Enjoy it. You get a break before you before you move and everything. Do you get a break before all that happens, or do you have to like get everything going in like one day? And did you find somebody to, to take your plants? Please say yes. Otherwise, I'm gonna be very sad for your plants and for you. Let's go back here. Let's start another piece of artwork, shall we? This time, I need to pull up a reference image of a Fafnir. Because we've had multiple requests on the channel for some sort of either dancing or just Fafnir-esque emote. For one, we've got the Wub Wub Machine out in MechWarrior Online. Okay. I mean, that's a good reference image, but it's not. Ooh, I kind of like this actually a lot as a reference image. Hmm. Because he kind of looks like he's dancing already. Ooh, you know what I'm going to do? Since I don't make any money off of these, I don't feel bad uh, plagiarizing a little bit. Let's put it that way. Fafnir MWO. Let's go to images. This one right here. It kind of looks like he's dancing already. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Procreate here. Uh, add another layer just in case. And we're going to oop, come back. Not invert, we want to insert. Nope. How do I do this again? Oh, I remember. Uh, import. Nope. Photo. Nope. Oh, wait. Yes. Go there quick. There's that. There we go. So here's our reference image. And what we need to do now. Two months off before level two is, oh my gosh think the chaos bananas is right so this is kind of a dancing fafnir already <laughs> i'm just going to turn it into something that actually looks like an emote um so what i need to do then is i need to select so we don't need the whole picture here let's just make a rectangle of this guy here okay and from here we're going to cut that out and then we're going to go back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh, the humanity. And then we're going to paste. Okay. So far, so good. Scales pretty nicely, too. Let me move that right here. 
And then, now that we know how to change the layer opacity, first of all, get that layer out of here. What's it doing? We're going to turn it down a little bit. Turn down for what? Some might say. Do, 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 do. Where in that two months are you going to move, though? Are you going to move at the beginning of it so you can relax wherever you're going? Or are you going to move when you're done with the two months? Yeah, that's a good reason to have to hop off. And <laughs> I have to say, Cat Dills, I hope you enjoy. Which Before you go, which Star Wars are you watching, though? Let's go with black, shall we? That's not black. Uh, give me this this okay how big are we doing here yeah that should be fine do 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 let's go through here it's a circle not an ellipse circle circle let me move the circle stop it Gonna be like that, huh? She must already be gone. That's okay. Do do. Put it shape circle. And now we need another circle. Oh, so now you move? I have to grab out here. That's what I gotta do, okay. I have one in Muskegon in the summer, so no moving till September. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. The Rise of Skywalker. Enjoy, hopefully he rises. He's not sleeping all day. And you're gonna be another circle, whether it believes it or not. Followed by an... Bad. Followed by another circle. It's a circle, I swear. Okay. Good there. We have the main part of the Fafnir. This is this is truly where the wub wubs come from, you know. When it's in game and everything, people people are like, "Where does why is it? Where's the wub wub coming from? Where uh, where is, are these LB tens located?" Well, here is where the wub wubs are located, right in the side torsos. Pull this down a little bit this way. Then we need to go kind of like this. Boop. Edit shape circle. Let's make you a little bit smaller. Circle. Just to start with, you know? Okay, from here, let's make our inner shapes. Well, yeah, that should be fine. Go this way, line, that's fine. Line, line, line. Line, line, line. Okay. Go here. And then down here. Whoa. Nope, none of those things. How do we make you a line? 
set its shape. Let's move the line. You know, we don't want to go directly off the image because it's not going to be, well, it can, it'll be kind of at an angle-ish. So we can kind of go this way. Don't tell PG, okay? Secret. Secrets, right? PG stands for product games, for anybody wondering. Um, let's see about... Circle. And how about circle? Did stay a circle. Roughly go around the outside here. Run me outside. Run me outside. way down that way over here up here a little bit kind of goes to like here ish right and then over down do, 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 do. not an arc a line Thank you much for the subscription, Crump12. Sorry, not the subscription. Wow, the follow. Subscription would be amazing. But another follow. That puts us up to 71 followers. Hopefully you're having a wonderful evening this evening, Crump. Joining us for some chill art. If you weren't here earlier, we're working on emojis. Or emotes, I should say. For very soon when I become a Twitch affiliate. Right now, people have been asking for a Fafnir-based emote. So I... Got a picture of a Fafnir, and we're honestly just starting to kind of trace our way around it. Mostly because Fafnirs are very detailed things. And I think it'd be cool to have a detailed dancing Fafnir. Edit shape line. Let's move you this way a little bit. Do, do. Normally on stream, you'll see me playing uh, some various video games. Uh, there's still a chance that this evening, maybe I'll play a little bit of a couple rounds of Mech or something. Or Mech Warrior Monday, as it were. Uh, but, you know, since the path to affiliate is almost complete, I need to make sure I have some cool custom emotes for people to make use of. Right? 
let's get you over here. Do. Okay. Down to here. But yeah, Crump12, what are you up to on this Manic Monday? I know that I had a very interesting day at work. There were some good parts, there were some bad parts, but you know, we muddle through, right? But how about you? How's it hanging? What's good in your life? What's bad in your life? What do you need to get off your chest? Or what do you want to brag about? All is welcome. Maybe start down here. Me, I want to brag about the fact that I literally just need to get my average viewers up a tiny bit in order to qualify to be a Twitch affiliate. This is a goal I've been working towards for several months now. I never thought that I could do streaming before, honestly. I never thought that I would be interesting enough or that I would people would want to even see what I was doing. But it's there's a there's such a wide community out there. There's there's kind of something for everybody, you know? You should never sell yourself short because you never know who's going to want to see what you're up to. And yeah, some of it may be friends, some of it may be family. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter as long as people are having a good time. Let's go across here first. Down here, kind of down here next. Got its shape. Do, do, do. But personally, I find drawing to be uh, very relaxing, very cathartic. You know, something that just helps you relax at the end of a long day. Something you can kind of lose yourself in. And sometimes we need a little bit more of that in life, right? You need to be able to just lose yourself in something. It's a healthy coping strategy, you know? That's also why I mini paint too. Cause you kind of have to have a certain level of focus when you're painting minis. I have like a, a magnifying glass and everything that I have to use when I'm looking at these, these miniatures to make sure that I'm, I'm not messing up. But they're so detailed that you can't really focus on much else. And when that happens, you kind of reach almost like a state of, of Zen, you know, like maybe a, a semi state of Nirvana, which is a good band by the way. My plan is to kind of get the outer area of the Fafnir kind of labeled, and I'm gonna kind of wanna make him look a little bit more like he's dancing. He's close. I mean, he's he's got some some lasers going on. You know, he's ready to do a little jig here, but we're gonna probably have him kicking out one of his legs and everything. But I just want to get the the basics in roughed out right now, because once we get that solid outer line going, we can go with different line values and everything, kind of get real detailed with it. Go ahead and do a, a an ellipse right here. And this time it is an ellipse. Sort of 
rose by any other name. Smell as sweet. Would a Fafnir by any other name Faf as hard? It's a fair question, right? How was your day, Ben? I know you're looking out there somewhere. Probably working on his deck or other adult things. He's been building his own deck on his house for a little while now, but doing a good job with it. If anybody hasn't seen it, I highly recommend that you stop by the uh, the rest of the Twitch page and look at our cel our 50 follower celebration video that we made because not only uh, did you get to learn the super secret family recipe that everybody's been searching after all this time, but you got to have a chance at a giveaway. We'll be doing more giveaways in the future once we get to our more of our follower milestones. I know this part is not the most exciting of parts, but at the same time, it's gotta be done. We're just chilling on a Monday night anyways, aren't we? That's too small. It doesn't count as a line. That's fine. He's working on his knee here. how many artists they have on their team at Prada Games. They turned out some really detailed like mech packs and stuff. Again, if you guys have never seen MechWare Online, first of all, go back and check out some of my own videos. Second of all, it's a it's a good game. It's worthwhile. People say that the community is a little bit smaller than it used to be, and you know it is, but at the same time, if we get enough interest drummed back up in it, then people will come back and Check it out again.
Okay. Kind of roughing in our image here first. So we get to more of the details later. Looking pretty good, actually. I'm trying to think if I'm gonna have his, maybe I need to have his right leg up in the air and the left leg back. So I'll, I'll move that one once it's in. This is going to go over this way. Do, do, do. There we go. here Trying to get his little foot done over here. This, you know, what else are you gonna do besides draw a giant snappy death robot when it comes to a chill Monday evening stream, right? Why are we looking at a robot crush? Uh, so something that we had requested on a couple of occasions, Ben, was to have a dancing Fafnir wub wub um, emote. So I'm kind of roughing out the outer the outer edges of what will be the Fafnir. But in, instead of just trying to you know draw all it myself, I am copying a little bit, of course, copying a lot of it. But I'm gonna make it my own in a little bit here. We're just gonna start off with this though. Something to start with. Part of the reason why is because I'm gonna have to actually look up and see some of the techniques that I need to use uh, to do what I want with this image. Because I'm, I'm basically, I'm gonna take the leg, the leg that I wanna be dancing, and gonna put it in a dancing position after I've drawn it. And I know in general how to select that, but I want to kind of have it over top of the other picture. So not only that, but I have to have like it filled in kind of in a way. So we'll figure it out. 
It'll take some time. Take some figuring. Can't just dry brush it. I thought shading, dry brushing, and edge highlighting solved everything. You know, that is a that's a fair point. If this was miniature painting, then that's basically all you need to do. And you forgot null oil, null oil wash. Remember, that's the real secret to everything. Just null, null. Which I, when I was mini painting for the the chaos banana night, I <laughs> came across a tragic realization. My null oil wash cap did not get all the way on from the last time I had used it so it was completely dried out now it could have been worse you know there could have been a huge mess and everything in the the container that I cape all my paints in but it was tragic enough because I went to go and use it so that's why the armor has purple wash on it for the the chaos banana night But I was so sad. And anybody who knows Warhammer 40,000 or any sort of miniature painting will tell you that null oil wash is like a staple. Like you just, there's no self-respecting painter that goes without it. So I had to be a non-self-respecting painter because I, I <laughs> had mine dry out. I was like, bad aetherplasm. You let your no-no wash dry out. That's true. Don't drink it. It's not a it's not a, a cure-all. Uh, a pace a paciana, pacina, pasina? I don't know what the term is that I'm talking about. Panacea. It's not a panacea. That's the word I was looking for. It's a good word. It's like a two dollar word there. Shape. Let's make this slightly more arky. Not to be confused with Arceus. Which, Pokemon Arceus. Anybody seen trailers for that? It actually looks pretty good. It looks like Breath of the Wild meets Pokemon. I think I might check it out. Now that I'm going to have a capture card on the way, it's definitely something that I could potentially play. Live on stream! There we go. Did you see how the uh, the other the other emote turned out, Ben? How the plasmid turned out? Let's go back to it quick here. Oops, that's the chaos banana. The chaos banana. I think it turned out pretty cool, actually. The Plasmid. Giving us a little salute to anybody who joins the stream. Right? Yeah, right? Took me a little while. Hands are hard. But I got it, finally. So, so far, completed, we have the Plasmid. And the Chaos Banana. The cat, and then we are going to... The next thing in line is, of course, the Faffy Fafnir. Doesn't look like a lot at the moment. Ooh, that reminds me I need to get down by the leg over there. Now let's see if it looks like an actual robot. A little bit, right? It's a start. That's kind of what we're going for, is a start. Because eventually what I'm going to do, I'm just going to kind of show the rough thing here. If I kind of go take this. Uh, let's not do that. Let's do 
this here. And then I want to... Make it, let's make it real crazy. Move the whole thing over this way. He can kind of be like off over here. Which I mean ruins the other leg right now, but the whole point is saying like I can easily manipulate legs and stuff. Um, to figure out just exactly what I want to do. We'll see. We'll figure it out. It's going to take some extra work. It's going to take some extra thought. For now, though, it's about 8.15. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and queue up the Fafnir just for at least one, one round. Exactly. Yeah, and I'm going to be adding a lot more detail to it. This is just the rough outer, outer kind of design to it, but we'll get there. We'll get there in due time. For now, though, let's go to this. Hail Hydrate. Oh, I don't have any water. I'm I'm a bad dehydrated streamer here. You have to do it without any other text. That's true. Oh yes, yeah. It can't. It's just the Hail Hydrate. I think the key for it should be... No, so... I'm not sure how I set that. I'll have to figure that out when I get the custom emojis going. But we need to get the viewer count in the stream up a little higher. Otherwise, it's not going to actually let me get to affiliate. So let's close this for now. And... We can... Pause that... You are doing your part. Thank you so much, Ben. We need to get to an average of three per stream overall. We had a couple in the beginning, but people kind of wanted off to do their own thing, which is understandable. Let's see if we can get a few mech viewers up here. So let me go and change things a little bit here. It won't let me edit my stream info. Oh, wait. Done. There we go. Edit stream info. Mech Warrior Monday. Mech Warrior Online. Then done. I think it's changed. Get logged in here to the actual channel, or not the actual channel, but the actual game. That'd be helpful, right? Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Okay. And there's a patch tomorrow coming to PGI. What it entails, I don't remember. But let's pull out the Wub Wub machine, shall we? Hmm. You didn't see that? Nobody saw that? Definitely not yawning. Because we can't draw a Fafnir without spending some time in the Fafnir. You know, you really have to become one with the mech. You need an astute 
understanding of just what it is to be a Fafnir. So you have to go Fafnir about a little bit. We have to let a little bit of chaos reign. Anybody who's joining us for the first time this evening, I hope you've been having a very chill Monday. I hope you've been enjoying a little bit of the relaxing stream. It's about to get a little bit explosive. Just because, like I said, you can't exactly just have the drawings of mechs and not have the explosions involved, right? Right? You know? That way, people far and wide will learn to appreciate the wub wub. Anybody cool on our team? Newbies are great. Yeah, that's fair. Everybody's a newbie at some point. Slow Money Green. Avon Gray. Agon Raven. Ben Raven. Blood Atlas. Lerm Report. Pinky Pigger. Mike check. Mike is good. Thank you. I've not watched your uh, channel yet. I'm going to have to look into it. Yeah, check it out. We're live right now, so uh, don't worry. I'll try to stay away from anybody to make sure that they don't get seen playing poorly or something. But I'll try to call out targets and not get killed. Ditto. I just can't remember. Do we stay as a group or do we divide the party? Uh, group is best. Death ball it is. Do 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 do. Reactive online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems. Let's bring the wub. I'm just glad it's not conquest. Cause my mech max out at maxes out at forty eight point six point kph. I saw that. Double gloss on that, right? Uh, quad, quad LB10. Okay. It's a giant cannon. That's all it is. A giant shotgun. I, I like meta. Uh, dual heavy gauze. Nice, I like it. The Grim Flexus. A tower... An age-old favorite, I should say. It doesn't look that grim, really. It actually looks rather picturesque. We gonna form a firing line and wait, or are we gonna push in? Anybody got an idea? I'm scouting up right now through Echo 6. I don't see anything right now. Fair enough. Anybody bring Lerms? I'll take the silence as a resounding yes. Bogey and Fox 8. Which makes sense because that's where their base is, so I kind of figured that they'd fall up there first. Everybody seems to kind of be following me. I'm not sure if I should be honored or terrified. I'm betting they're all going to line up right behind that ridge over there. Do we try something crazy and try to sneak around back behind like D8 or Delta 8, Delta 9 and come up from behind that ridge? I don't care what we do, as long as we all do it together. Let's try something real crazy. Let's 
try let's try to sneak around that ridge. At least it'll funnel them back towards us. So there's this pathway. You're trying to do a hard counter. Yeah, basically. Other than walking straight into their firing line on the other side of that ridge. I hope you just you know someone looked like it looks like you shot somebody, but I see what you're saying. Yes, puppy plasm made an appearance. There's only a couple people going that direction. The rest of us are, you know, doing the usual stuff. Yeah. Well, Sorry, I got lost. Because I don't yeah. want to split us. That's always bad. That they right. would split us, so yeah. Why don't you want to just turn back around and don't get shot in the back too much? I like the idea, but you can't take up the risk of death, would you? Fair yeah, enough, I just thought I'd try something unique. Sorry about that. I, I didn't. I don't worry, I'm sorry about it. Just know we're going to have NASCAR now. I'm a pro at NASCAR. Please. Harold's narked if uh, we got alarm boats. Affirmative. Get that generator, it's really slow. Alpha. It's probably working on the event. New target acquired. Got one more of that general. Alright, let's see who we can get to wub. Switch to heat vision. Just gonna take out Jeez. New target acquired. I feel a little bit bad. I mean people didn't people kinda didn't buy into the plan. No one drank the Kool-Aid. Hi. New target acquired. You get a wub wub for me? There we go. Wub wub. You gonna wub wub for me? Almost. Hi Atlas. Stay together. We're gonna have a murder ball going. Watch uh -huh. I see you over there. Come on. Let me wub wub. Ah, oh, his torso is so cherry. I want it. Come on, Mad Cat. Hotel wants to play. Oh, never mind. I know you're back there. Hi. Joker's gonna be dead. Be my bitch, bitch. There we go. We got the wub wubs going this evening. New target acquired. Two Delta. Papa Wad wub wub. Focus Delta. Roger. They're calling up there. See what else is up there. Five two. Man. Great. He's got some friends on the lower side. By the way. I just top. got dropped at the base. There's, there's two sitting right on the base. Taking the top, Steve. He wants to die, guys. Steve wants to die. Charlie wants to die. Very good. Come on, Wub Wub. Oh, there we go. We're up to three kills so far in the Wub Wubinator. Goes toasty. Can I get there in time? Nope. All right, where's the other one going? Base is being captured. Oh, it's going oh. That answers that question. How is this Jenner still alive? Oh, just missed it. If we if we all sit on the base, we can get it before they do. Oh gosh, yes. And we can do the happy shot. <laughs> Enemy base is being captured. Fireworks! F6, there's one coming in on you. We might be able to kill that thing. If you get it fast. Go down. Go down. They got a disco off them. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Wait, we're supposed to win by objectives on these things? What? Good match, guys.
He got the band back together. Encore, encore, bravissimo. Give me one moment. I I will be back very shortly. As promised, it was just a moment. Let's do one more wub wub. Let's try I'll try to get a couple more wub ups, but one more match with some wub wubs. I'm a little bit surprised that worked out as well as it did because initially when the party splits up like that and then tries to reform, it doesn't usually turn out so good. Hibernal Rift, I guess? We'll try it. We'll try it. Do, 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 do. One of these days I should try to get a marbles stream going. I don't, I haven't, I don't think, or we haven't had an, uh, enough viewers to make a really, really good one, but it could be fun just to have a couple of people. Just for funsies. I don't know, maybe sometime I'll play Rocket League. It's been a while since I've thought about playing that. I don't have it, but it looks fun. All these games have so suddenly become something that's like, oh, that's really interesting to do. That's something that might be entertaining. Not going to cruise control for cool. Let's see what we got over here. Hippie Mike. I remember him. Um, anybody on our team? Mantic, Bonnie Ruth. Newbies are great again. And Climate. Mic check. By the way, this faction name that I came up with here was uh, I you totally jitterbug. Hey, Bonnie. It's good to have you on our team. And hey, hey everybody else. Hello. Let's oh, we got a leg game. Bonnie. Let's leg Bonnie, everybody. Oh, ha ha, very funny. <laughs> Look here, kiddos, I've got $55 all around. Light them up and I'll launch. Sounds like a plan. Wait, what map did we get again? I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy watching Master Chef. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, okay, we got it. Link command, coming in. If you don't think you missed me quick, you get to the circle. Oh yes, quick. Uh, 48.6 kph here, max speed, so... I'm 64.8, so I'm a little faster. Careful, it might get pulled over at those speeds. Usually I like to run my little Locust right around 115, 120. <laughs> Newbies running a DZ Assassin? Old man running your Vigo IC and Barb, you running your Archer? Or is that... no, that's your Archer pool. Do we have a light? So as you can see, obviously the best mech available for playing Domination is the Fafnir. 
at blazing fast speeds, it just completely outpaces any of the other mechs. We'll go get set up in Delta Five. That'd be a good idea. Contact. This will probably be the last match that we do today, so we'll try to get some good whoops here. We got two assaults sneaking up over here. Maybe I should join them. No? Are you coming back towards me? What are we doing? We're leaving our friend up there. Who is that? Well, I'm trying to stay together as a group. It's not my fault that people are trying to break off. You always have to have an encore for the Wub Wubs. People don't want to hear a concert just once. New target acquired. Yeah, they're starting to come through the bottom of E5G6. New target acquired. Focus golf. Yeah, you got two assault necks on you. Fox got the King Crab Kaiju. Golf is just white out the open. Golf are kind of out in the open trying to shoot one of our guys off the little ledge as well. Golf CT. Come on. Golf on left door, so fucking gone. Swab wub! Target acquired. Alright. New target acquired. Do, 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 do. I have a fleet and a fire starter on me. Uh, what's your grid? I'm coming, 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 I'm co
pilot skill rating change going up. That's what we like to see. So with that, we'll bid Mechadoo for the evening. Mechadoo. Sounds kind of fun. Mechadoo. But to recap, we did some cool things. We worked on some art. We got one emote done, right? And we got some good a good start on another one, the Dancing Path Deer. Well, that's going to take a little while, uh, I feel like. And uh, maybe it might be too detailed to start off with. We'll have to see. Because when it shrinks down that really, really small amount and everything for the actual emote, it can be kind of hard to see the details. And I want to make sure that they're obviously easily visible despite what it is. Um, so we're going to keep working on that too. But we had kind of a chill stream, you know, just kind of relaxing on a manic Monday evening. So I hope you had a good time with it. If you had a good time, make sure to hit that follow button down in the corner because you'll be able to be alerted when I'm going to be streaming in the future. We have officially reached our goal of 50 followers. That means our next goal is 100. Um, I think I can get this to read properly because I'm pretty sure that we are actually, yes, we are. There we go. We are actually at 71 followers. I know it won't let you follow that again. But that's fine. Um, but we're actually at 71 followers, which is very exciting. We're a lot of the way towards 100. And when we get to 100, that means we're going to be doing another giveaway and another special celebration stream. Every 50 milestone, I think we'll probably end up doing something like that. Make sure to check out the YouTube page as well, because there are playlists that are organized there. You can also check out the video from the celebratory 50 followers stream and see the giveaway. Uh, if you'd missed that, I'm sorry, but you know I did try to warn you ahead of time that it was going to be going on. And then also follow me on Twitter. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll learn about when I'm doing my unexpected streams. I didn't tweet today. It was kind of an unexpected, unexpected stream, but I was doing some art and I felt like, you know, maybe people want to kind of come join me and just chill and relax a bit. So it's kind of what we did. Plus, it's also nice to get people's opinions on things when it comes to the art as far as it goes, because it's all going to be for the channel, right? If you had an amazing time, make sure you hit, uh, not make sure, but you're welcome to donate to the channel. That donate button is active. So that is always a potential too. For now, though, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a wonderful and safe rest of your evening, and we will see all of you in the next video.